I'm Jeff Blackley, Chief Culinary Officer here at Daryl's, and today we're going to learn how to grill a perfect steak the Daryl's way on our wood fire grills. The Certified Angus Beef brand is the best Angus brand available. It's a cut above USDA Prime, Choice, and Select. Ten quality standards, including abundant marbling, ensure that every bite is exceptionally flavorful, incredibly tender, naturally juicy, and it is the top 8% of beef in the country. Let's talk about marbling. Uh, marbled meat is meat, especially red meat, which contains various amounts of intramuscular fat, uh, giving it a, an appearance similar to a marble pattern. Uh, you can think of marbling as little flecks of flavor. As your meat cooks, that marbling melts and gives your meat incredible flavor. Uh, it gives tenderness, juiciness, it's just outstanding. First, let's start with the clean grill. Clean the grates off with a grill brush and wipe any dirt or carbon off the grates with a towel. Make sure that all the coals are out and then empty the ashes using a shovel and a trash can. But make sure the trash can is metal or something that won't catch on fire just in case there's a coal or an ember that's still lit. All right, well this is where it all starts. It starts out at the wood pile with our hickory. Um, we get this locally from um, a gentleman who uh, Cuts it, splits it, delivers it, and uh, stacks it up for us so that uh, we can have nice hot fires to grill steaks on. Um, well, let's head on into the kitchen and, and start from there, okay? To build the fire, begin with a cardboard and uh, some kind of newspaper, or some kind of paper, something that burns, kindling, something that burns easily. Build a framework with small logs and kindling and light it from the back. You only need to light a few places because it'll catch quickly and um, you won't have any trouble lighting it. You'll know the grill is ready when the coals start to glow a red color uh, and the initial flare up from lighting the grill is passed. Be careful where you put your steaks on the grill. There's hot zones and then there's areas of the grill that are not so hot. Basically, if you see white on the grill, you know that it's really super hot. When you put your food there, it's going to char. So avoid the really white hot zones. And if you hold your hand about 18 inches above the grill, you're going to be able to see just how hot the areas of the grill are. For example, you might want to use a really a hotter spot for a rare steak, something that's not going to be on the grill very long and give it a chance to, to get those nice grill marks and caramelize. A spot that's not so hot might be great for a well done steak that's going to have to cook on the grill for quite a while to get the steak well done. Okay, now let's season the steaks before we grill them. We're going to use Montreal seasoning because that's my favorite and that's what we use here at Daryl's Woodfire Grill. We're going to season both sides of the steak, then we're going to put it onto the grill. The length of time that we put it on the grill for kind of depends on the piece of meat or how thick the steak is, also what temperature the steak is being cooked to. One hundred and twenty to one hundred and twenty-five degrees would be rare. Uh, that's a cool red center. Medium rare is one hundred and thirty to one hundred and thirty. 35 degrees and that's a warm red center. 140 to 145 degrees is medium uh, and that's a pink center and then uh, medium well is 150 to 155 degrees uh, that's just a little trace of pink in the middle. Well done is 160 degrees and above <clears throat> and that of course is cooked all the way through. So now I'm going to show you how to make diamond marks on the, on the steak. What we're going to do is we're going to put the steak down, let it cook um, for, you know, just a couple of minutes just to get those nice grill marks. And then we're going to pick up the steak, turn it 45 degrees. So say if your steak is at 12 o'clock, we're going to turn it to 3 o'clock. And that's going to make those nice diamond marks um, that you see on all the uh, advertisements for grilled meat. Now, once the steak is completely cooked or cooked to the temperature that you want, we're going to brush it with a, a nice seasoned garlic red wine butter. And that'll add a nice sheen 
and a nice uh, little extra touch of flavor and, and richness to the steak. You can get that classic full-bodied wood fire grill taste from all your favorite foods. A wide variety of certified Angus beef steaks is not the only option for cooking on a wood fire grill. Here at Daryl's, we also grill baby back ribs, chicken, shrimp, burgers, salmon, lobster. Really, any protein lends itself to that natural wood fire grill flavor. Thanks for coming out and spending some time with us. And remember, the next time that you want a great grill, start with a nice wood fire grill. Uh, get your flame just right, clean your grates, pick a nice piece of meat, season it well, and cook it perfect. Have a great day.